Hello, in this episode of Warren Assembly you should install the DIN rails, the bottom panel and the legs which are actually your motors and which were assembled in the previous video. Um, you should start by aligning your uh, bed rails, this should not be fixed yet but they should be aligned in a correct position so when you install your DIN rails you don't uh, move your bed incidentally to the left or the right. So first of all my my uh, extrusions are already aligned, so this should be aligned with the holes in your bed, with the drilled holes. And uh, these spaces should be equal, so your bed basically lies in the very center of the frame. Uh, for my build, which is 350 millimeter build, uh, the distance between the uh, vertical rails and the center of the uh, lower extrusions is exactly 16 centimeters. So align everything up, align these two extrusions with the holes in your bed and then align them so these distances are equal. Um, after you have done this it would be a good idea to tighten everything a bit so it doesn't move while you will be rotating the printer. And as we will be rotating the printer, it's a good practice to actually fix these linear blocks because when you turn your printer around, uh, they can fall off even if you have these small cool rubber nuts in the end of your rails. They can fall off and you will spend a lot of time searching for the small bearing balls uh, on your floor. So before we start, take some painter tape and tighten the blocks. And now we can remove the aluminium plate and turn your printer upside down. Uh, now you can take the coropulse sheet and you will need the one with the extra holes. These are, let me show you, these four holes which are used for fixing down the plate and these holes which are used for wiring and uh, yeah, for wiring the bed. And uh, as soon as you fix this down, this becomes the back of your printer. So, first of all, let's put M5 uh, uh, nuts into the profile so we can actually tighten this down. And I'm also using the corpus sheet as a guide so I generally get an idea when I should install them. Now the fun part, removing the packaging. Now is your last chance to align the nuts, so please do it. And you will need four M5 10mm rounded BHCS screws to install the DIN rails. Just put them in the correct position, like this and tighten them down. As always, we will be installing the bed a bit later, so there is no point to tighten them very firmly. Just do it so they don't fall out when you are moving your printer during assembly. You will need two M5 nuts and two M5 40mm screws for each motor, uh, each pulley assembly, sorry. So, first of all, Install your nuts into the <coughs> extrusion, you will need two of them. And then you can align your nuts into the appropriate position. Just look at these two holes and align them accordingly. Now when you have your nuts aligned, you can put these two screws in, into the pulley assembly. M5 40mm and install. Sorry, need a bigger allen key. And install it onto the extrusion. This can be tightened, but tightening the motors is a very interesting process and actually shows how well engineered or over engineered Voron printer is. So, first of all, yes, you need the motor assembly and uh, you'll have to choose that one which has this open side uh, adjacent to the pulley assembly if you put it like this. Also you will need this 
little tensioners and you'll have to pick this one which fits your motor mount and you'll need two M5 extrusion nuts and two M5 10 millimeter uh, ball screws so yeah let's start by installing the nuts so for this part of the assembly you have to move the nuts very close to the pulley assembly and use your motor mount as a guide for that so here I'm pushing it really 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 close to the assembly uh, then I need to take my tensioner put it under the motor mount the motor bracket uh, install the motor so the belt goes over the motor shaft and then actually slightly tighten one of the screws with the tensioner still facing outwards so don't need to push this red ascented thingy in now slightly tighten the screws both of them and close this little thingy i'm really overly excited i'm over excited by how clever this is and how simple it is just to push this lever which pushes the motor away and uh, brings you enough tension so the belt is tensioned correctly and now all you must do is just tighten down both screws so now repeat the same process three times and your printer will be ready to stand up 